tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. I'm really excited ako for this um, week's guest. No? Kasi uh, nabanggit nga natin, sabi natin sa Nepal, uh, tayo ay uh, all new Pinoy alternative music. So in our first episode, we defined alternative as yung mga genre na hindi masyado na feature sa ibang uh, radio stations or yung mga mainstream radio stations. So, that includes yung mga metal, yung mga gent, yung mga trash, yung mga folk song, uh, yung mga alternative. So, for today, this is actually our first uh, medyo, ano ba sasabihin natin? Medyo gent or medyo heavy na ano, na band. No? Uh, yan. They are from uh, Pampanga. Before that, we will have to look back on some of our bands that we feature specifically lalo na tong may bago you know gagawin nating bagong segment or bagong feature ng our program is called head to head yes head to head so yan po nakita niyo yung head to head between uh, pinakita yung band members ng the B wings versus the popsicles hindi naman po namin pinag-aaway no pero just the way to promote and and uh, refresh some of our viewers ano uh, yung mindset nila na dating gines namin sila and of course tayo pag nagigies tayo pinapa tuktuk natin yung mga music nila eh, either three music or four or even five para lang ma refresh sa kanila na etong dalawang banda to could be a match if given a, a platform that they would perform side by side. Tama yun, Charlie. So, uh, actually, kasama yun sa nasa genetic natin, na, ano, structure natin ng mga Pinoy na medyo competitive spirit, di ba? So, like, mahilig tayo sa basketball, mahilig tayo sa boxing. So, ito naman is parang katuwaan lang. Ano? And actually, wala naman tala dito kasi these are parang opportunities, exposure pa rin sa magkabilang banda. No? Uh, for for their music to be featured here in on Nepal. So ito medyo para healthy competition kumbaga. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. Wala ako tal- wala ako talagang masabi parts. Uh, this uh, ano this head to head of ours na new feature is really So Ingent is a progressive metal band based in Paran eh, based sorry in Pampanga. Okay? The band started uh, way back September 2014 and hence composed to date eight songs eight original songs for which five of them were recorded professionally okay so most notably sa mga ating ano uh, followers in gent joined the 2016 red horse pambansang music laban and made it to the grand finals representing the north and central luzon so the the band during that competition the band was mentored by Uh, another band called Slap Shop. Napakagandang kanta. Definitely hindi mapapa hindi hindi siya makakategorize sa, sa Christian music. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Alam mo guys, to be honest, kung hindi pa na siguro yung mga viewers, kung hindi nila nakita yung video, yung band members nila. Akala, siguro aakala aakala nila na parang yung kumanta is talagang ano yung mga malalaking tao <laughs> na malalaki yung bosses tapos talagang mga ano headbangers pero kikita nyo naman uh, right from the screen mga mukhang bata at mga totoy ang kumanta <laughs> it's actually an anthem to uh, the working class not just the blue collar workers um, but basically everyone who Uh, works hard, get a decent living, pays their taxes, only to be, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but yeah. only to be screwed over by the very uh, governing body. Um, so, it, 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 it's a chorus, it compels whoever is listening to, you know, rise up, break the chains that, that bind you to servitude. Um, and then the last line of the bridge, it says, um, we work for the beasts to live. Uh, it's obviously an... Um, Um, in, in reference to you know um, people in position behaving like rabid animals, so uh, it, I guess it's something that most of uh, most of the working class can relate to. Uh, before, uh, kami ni parents, may former band kami, Paul says. 
So, parang ano siya, parang uh, alternative metal siya. Parang hindi siya ano, hindi siya ganun kaingay. Parang radio friendly pa din. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, one time I bought an 8-string, 8-string guitar. So, yung mga kasama ko, uh, way back dun sa former band namin na Pulses, parang nahihirapan sila to, ano, to adjust dun sa kung anong meron yung 8 string na yun. So, and then, yun, uh, napunta dun sa uh, yung trip ko, hindi na nilitrip. Yung mga arrangement ng songs na ginagawa ko, medyo, hindi na nila, ano, hindi na nila, yun nga, trip. Tapos, uh, that time kasi, ano eh, parang, pausbong na yung mga bands na using uh, 8 strings and then, uh, the same genre as ano, gentis gentis side uh, uh, so ayun and then uh, Terence and I decided to form another band ito uh, nga surprisingly ito lang yung ano ko ito lang yung uh, parang nagtulak sa akin para mag ano, mag form ng another band para lang magamit ko yung top string ng <laughs> So, so dahil sa gitara kaya... dahil sa gitara <laughs> dahil lang sa gitara kaya, eh hindi kasi nagagamit yun dun sa former band namin dalawa ni Terence eh. so oh. ayun tapos uh, i-recruit namin si yung brother ni Terence si Van and then may former bassist din kami dati yung, uh, nasa video si Nate so ayun ah uh, ako yung composer, ako yung gumagawa ng mga areglo, mga arrangements. So, nagugustuhan naman nila. And yung principal naman dito, para, ano, eh, parang i-push namin yung sarili namin beyond our limits sa alam namin sa music. So, ayun. Uh, hanggang sa nakabuo kami ng two songs, three songs, hanggang umabot na siya sa eight, eight songs. Mm-hmm. Part of our uh, goal dito sa Nipams to educate yung mga listeners din natin. Uh, right now, when we talk of uh, gin, no? uh, ka- tayo alam na natin yun eh. Gin, chug, it's eh, parang ganun. Uh, could you tell as a short definition, ano ba tong gin sound? Uh, is this uh, something that uh, nagagawa lang ng 8-string or 7-string guitar? Deeper sound? Mm-hmm. Or is this a movement na medyo... Uh, nag emerge ngayon or mga uh, 3, 4, 5 years? Paano ba ito? Uh, based sa ano, based sa understanding ko about the, the so-called gen, hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya sub-genre ng music. Okay. Ano siya, uh, technique siya to, ano, parang palm muting technique. So, at da- dati, uh, as explained by, ano, uh, parang sa guitarist na ano guitarist ng periphery si Misha Mansu. Mm-hmm. Ang sinasabi niya hi- hindi siya ano hindi siya sub genre. Uh, ang ginagawa yung typical na chaki yung chak 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 chak. ano siya ganun siya. Wherein sa ano sa sa gen na, napo-produce mo yung tunog na gen yung gen 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 gen. gen. Kaya tinawag siya na gen pero parang ano siya parang more on the break madaming breakdowns tapos uh, ano siya progressive din siya para progressive metal siya na ano iba-iba eh hmm. yung was created uh, around uh, siguro mga 4 years ago uh, when we were already parang comfortable with our own sound okay uh, and uh, if you if you listen to the lyrics um, if you're listening to the lyrics besides the rhythm uh, it says it says what we feel about uh, about our image or our identity um, as musicians and in the in the music community so the lyrics say it all it's not a manufactured sound uh, yes you could manufacture the sound in like uh, in studio applications or something but we wanted Uh, to be an expression uh, it says in the lyrics this is not a man- manufactured sound it's an expression loud and free what we call originality so um, 
I think at the time we were we were comfortable. We were we were parang hyped up by our own sound. So we we wanted to to um, express that confidence. Uh, we wanted to talk uh, to make a song that talks about itself. It's a bit meta. Um, if you if you think about it, mm. so uh, but on the inside it was more of empowering people, empowering the listeners to be true to themselves and not to conform to what is trending. Uh, make your own identity, make your own uh, push. Uh, don't just jump on the bandwagon. Uh, and it's about it, it's about taking the power back for yourself, finding your own identity. Among amidst the chaos, uh, so that's why the chorus that you'll listen to it again. It says, "We live to see the world in a breakdown." It's, at, at first, you you might think it's uh, what? Parang nihilistic naman ng negative, ng, negative to the person. Parang negative to <laughs> live, to live to see the world break down. But no, no, no. Uh, what what uh, what we mean by there is that uh, so uh, if you if you notice in music, especially in metal music. Breakdown is uh is parang uh oh. the, the thumping yeah the thumping oh. of the it's like it's like the, the the beat the heart of the the song so we want to and also um if you take it another way breakdown can mean breaking down uh the the contents of something or breaking down the walls to understand it more. So, uh, so we live to see the world in a, both a, a societal breakdown and a breakdown in music, it's like what we're doing. Uh, and we called it Oom, and the because we wanted the rhythm to speak for itself. We called it Oom because it's meant to make the listener stronger. Because when you say the Oom, Oom, something like that. <laughs> So, uh, we wanted to give them that kind of uh, confidence, that kind of drive to push for it. So, to define it, uh, we've already defined it in Kapampangan. And that word is, that phrase is, Oyani nga ba naman kukaya ka? Oyani nga ba naman kukaya ka? Let me translate. It's a Kapampangan word. It means, ayan ang sinasabi ko sa'yo. So, when you, when you hear, like, when you hear us on the radio and then you're you're, you're not sure, ano pang classic dyan ba to? Yan ang sinasabi ko sa'yo, pare. Yeah. So that's the only way you can divide it. Parang no, no, need, no, no need to explain. Oh, okay. Okay. Na lang. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. aside, genre is more of a personal thing. Uh, it's it's really the listener that decides what kind of genre uh, any band is. Um, we can sound totally different to anyone on the planet. Um, that's why uh, it, genre uh, defining genre is helpful if you have absolutely no idea what you're listening to yet. But when when you're first in it, when you the more songs you listen to, the more kinds of music you listen to, um, then it becomes more of a personal thing. Um, like to me, uh, the Beatles are rock. To some people, they're not rock. They're skiffle. But you know, it's 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 really more of a personal taste to you. It something may sound heavy for someone, something may sound balladic, uh, ballad for someone else. So, for all we know, to someone else, somewhere in the world, Ingen is more of a ballad song. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what I'm saying, that, that it's more of a personal thing. But on our side, we've already defined it in our native tongue. Yes. So, unang kinig, iisipin mo tungkol sa siya, ano, katoli kong pare na abusado. Hmm. Gusto ko lang ipaliwanag na hindi yung ang mensahe. Ang mensahe dito ay huwag magpa magpapi sa kahit na sinong nagsasabing mas mataas. Mas banal o mas mabuting loob kaysa sa'yo. Uh, para dun sa sikat na kasabihan, pag gusto, laging may paraan yan. So, gusto ko yung music eh. Ito yung pinaka-tissue ko. So kung bisyo mo yan, hahanap ka, hahanap ka talaga yung paraan ng oras para yung bisyo mo, pagampanan mo, obligasyon siya eh, sa sarili mo. Kung baga pag di mo ginawa yun, parang may kulang. So we always, ano, we always especially me, uh, I'm, a, I'm a father, uh, I have two kids, uh, 
full time ano full time ba kung nagtatrabaho and kung isipin mo ano eh uh, behind busy schedules hindi na namin magagawa yan eh so, what do you do pala Jay? Anong, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm a loan officer uh, officer at Toyota Financial Services yun ayun so, kung gusto nyo ng kotse yan yan pero ba? Oh. yes sir shout out tayo sa Toyota <laughs> shout out sa Toyota <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, so basically ganun lang So ako, uh, parang ano siya Parang to keep my sanity ba Yung ganun mm-hmm. Yun yung way na ano, Way na pampalibang Pag wala kang masyadong ginagawa Kasi ako, hindi naman ako sporty na tao Hindi rin naman ako uh, Wala naman akong ibang alam na gawin So music lang So it's a matter of being Uh, in love with the music. Uh, kasi when when you when you make a commitment to the music, uh, no matter how busy your schedule, you will always make time for it. Uh, First, you have to ask yourself why why am I doing this? Why do I want to form a band? If your answer is I want to be famous, I want to be rich, I want uh, I want to be noticed, then don't push through with it. Just quit. <laughs> <laughs> because more often than not you're not gonna get any of that uh, only the very very fortunate people have that kind of break uh, instead if you answer that why do you want to do this it's because you want to be heard you want to send a message you want uh, you you want uh, to be able to express yourself in in the most aggressive way and the a melodic way possible then then can you commit yourself truly to, to that band when you, when you find that calling then just pursue that with your with all your heart um, uh, and remember that that being a musician being in a band it's very hard work it's harder work than your actual job so uh, put all your heart into it and and just never stop Because when you're when you're true to yourself, when you've got your your purpose set, everything becomes easier. Especially music, it becomes easier. Eto pa pala, uh, I would like to thank this program. Na may ganitong program para sa mga unsigned bands, unsigned artists na walang opportunity to be heard by uh, social media. So uh, advice ko lang sa mga newbies, patuloy lang na gumawa na. Art, music, kung musician ka, uh, patuloy kang gumawa ng music. Kung paint, painter ka, pinta ka lang ng pinta. Eventually, ma- mag-feature ka din uh, online. So, yun lang. All the listeners of this program, thank you for supporting such a big, such a big help to artists um, locally. And uh, for bringing, bringing the word about music. How they're doing Stay tuned for the next episode only here on V81 Radio, Manila.